In this video, we're going to explore the accessible apps for Communicator 5. In particular, we're going to focus on those apps that are likely to appeal to gamers, namely TikTok, Twitch, YouTube and Messenger services. So in this example, I'm just having a little bit of fun playing Candy Crush using control and my eye tracker on the computer's desktop. It looks like I've won, so I'm going to go back to Communicator to see what's going on. My son and I often message each other while we're gaming, so I'm going to call up Facebook Messenger and see if he's been in touch. I can see he has indeed asked what are you playing, so I can type a response to him. This will call up whatever my preferred Communicator 5 keyboard is, and I can answer, Candy Crush, what about you? My son's quick to respond, and he tells me that he's playing Call of Duty Cold War, and he's streaming it on Twitch. Once again, I can respond to him in my preferred accessible Communicator 5 keyboard. So now, I'll close accessible Facebook Messenger, and I'll launch Twitch. It takes a couple of seconds for this accessible app to launch whilst it checks for updates. I'm presented with the standard Twitch homepage, and I can choose to interact with the featured channels up at the top. I'm able to mute or unmute, play and pause, and I can also swipe left and right between the featured streams that are available. The latest versions of the accessible apps now give me the ability to view videos and streams in full screen to give me the best viewing experience. In the corner is a semi-transparent button which allows me to return to the full Communicator 5 controls. With these controls, I'm now able to access other elements of the Twitch homepage, including scrolling down no to view other content that may be of interest to me. As an iGaze user, I use the Select button to make the right-hand side of the screen iGaze accessible. This Select button feature is useful because it prevents me starting videos accidentally. After streams, <gasps> Once Wait, again, I have before? access to all of Wait, the important Twitch back? features, including being able to view a video full screen. On returning to the home page, the active video shrinks down to a floating video at the bottom of the screen. The menu gives me the option to open or close floating videos. I can also search for any Twitch user. In this instance, I'm going to search for my son's Twitch ID that he told me. So here are the search results, and I can scroll up or down these. I can also use the select button which enables the right-hand side of the screen and makes it accessible to my current access method. So now I'm viewing my son's live Twitch feed and I'm able to see how he's getting on with the game and do other things such as viewing his game full screen. Once again, a semi-transparent button allows me to return back to Communicator 5 controls. I can pause that stream and exit Twitch to return to my Communicator 5 desktop. From here, I'm going to jump straight back into Accessible Facebook Messenger, and I can see that my son has been messaging me again about a streamer on TikTok called Baits and Clips. So I'm going to jump into TikTok to see what Baits and Clips is all about, because apparently he's got some great FIFA skills. So now I'm presented with the standard TikTok interface, with Accessible Communicator 5 controls for this on the left-hand side of the screen. Scroll down through the videos and find one I want to interact with. So I press the select button again and this gives me various controls to interact with that video such as mute, play, pause, like, comment and even toggle to full screen mode. So my son sent me to TikTok to look for FIFA videos from Bates and Clips. So I click on search and then type that on my preferred Communicator 5 keyboard. When the search results appear, I can scroll through these with the up and down arrows, and when I get to the user that I want, I can select it with the select button. I can scroll through this user's content using the scroll up and scroll down buttons, and when I find the videos that I want, I can use the select tool to have direct selection on the right hand side of the content I'm looking for. Communicator 5 will automatically load the right controls for interacting with this video, such as play, pause, like and comment, or in this instance, toggle to full screen. 
I can also cycle through the videos available in this user's channel using the previous video and next video buttons. I'm going to exit TikTok now and go back to the Communicator 5 desktop to load Twitch again to see if this user has any content in Twitch. I go to the Twitch menu and call up the search tool. Here once again I can search for Bateson. The search results are for Bateson and other streamers I might be interested in. I can use the select button to now directly select from Bateson's live stream or the other content. I'm presented with the right communicator controls to interact with this live stream, such as mute, play, pause or type in chat. I'll exit Twitch now and I'm going to go back to accessible Facebook Messenger to see if my son has been sending me any more messages. My son knows I'm interested in eye tracking gaming and he tells me about Becky who plays Minecraft with her eyes. So I ask him to tell me more, in fact send me a link to the video he's talking about. The great thing about the accessible apps is that they use deep linking technology to allow me to interact with links that people might send me in one of the messenger services. In accessible Facebook Messenger, I can click on chat view and directly interact with the YouTube link he's sent me. You'll see as the YouTube video loads, the control panel on the left hand side changes to the YouTube controls to allow me to interact with this video, doing things like play, pause, forward and back, full screen, mute, etc. When I've watched the YouTube video, I can click on exit to app and this will take me back to accessible Facebook Messenger where I can reply to my son and tell him how impressed I was with Becky's video. I hope this video was useful to illustrate how the accessible apps give full, uncompromised access to some of the latest services for streaming, messaging and entertainment. We strive to give users a streamlined and intuitive experience within the familiar environment of Communicator 5. We feel that the accessibility of the apps and the interaction between them is key to this effortless experience.